Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Pardon the mess behind me. My room's a pigsty. I've done laundry. <laughs> I was also sick the last week or so. But I have a backbone controller. I picked this up. I paid for it. If you haven't heard of this, it basically transforms your iPhone into a gaming device. Kind of makes it into like an iOS Nintendo Switch that you can play Game Pass, xCloud, um, Amazon Luna, Google Stadia, PlayStation Remote Play, Xbox Remote Play, um, anything you could think of with streaming games. And it actually comes in pretty good handy. I saw a lot of people talk about it and make videos about it recently. I figured out that you could play xCloud on your iPhone. I was like, wow. And then I saw this and I was like, okay, I got to get this. The, the xCloud, I've been all over it. Uh, playing Killer Instinct and a couple other games. So I wanted to see just how this performs and stuff. So we're going to open it, unbox it, take a look at it. Um, this is kind of a pricey device. It's about 100 bucks. I did pay this out of pocket myself. This isn't a review copy or any of that, a review product. Um, well worth the price, though. From everything that I've seen online in regards to um, this device, I, I, I knew I had to get it. Especially because I have some... Uh, you know basically trips to too many games and to uh, retro palooza and a few other conventions and out-of-town trips so you can see all sorts of stuff you can do with it but enough of a box let's let's open this sucker so and this definitely seems like something that they worked with um, Apple on like this feels about as close to a full official Apple device that you can you can get um right here let's open it up it basically turns your uh your control your your ios into a controller so you can see right here snap in and game on you have some very loose instructions here it's kind of like a dog bone in a way um you literally just plug and play it in there's the device right there so you can see right here it says Line up your phone with the Backbone's lightning, lightning connector. Grab the left handle, extend it, snap your phone in, and play. So it's literally just snapping in and play. So here's the actual device itself. It feels lighter than I thought it would. And you just open it up, and you slide your phone in, in right here. Now, you cannot use a case with this. You risk damaging or breaking your phone if you were to use a case because of this lip right here. So you do have to take your phone case off. But just for shits and giggles... I'm going to see if no it does not look like mine will work with the phone case so I'm gonna take it off you want to be careful and not break your $100 device at all <clears throat> so we're going to uh, put the uh, the controller in and you download an app that gives you kind of like a home page it kind of looks like a game pass slash Netflix um, type of deal it shows you all the games that are currently accessible with the backbone device and uh, what can work with it. So now, look, we have it. We have it plugged in. Boom. And basically, it's like a, a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> so we have it. Um, we have it set up. We're going to unlock it. So now it says app not installed. So what you do is you go to the app store. It's as easy as it takes. And you pick the Backbone um, app. You let it download. Double click to install. And uh, here we go. It's downloading as we speak. So in a minute, we'll have the Backbone app loaded up. And uh, dang, it's actually going pretty quick. Now I gotta say, um, it feels really light. So I feel like you would be able to play this for hours easily. I am a little scared though. Um, like I, I really don't trust it being held in, but I've never heard anybody complain about it or say that they've broken it. Um, it does scare me that it's basically held together with a smaller thing like that, but I will say the analog sticks feel nice. The buttons feel nice. The D pad feels great. Um, it basically just feels like you have a, um, an Xbox controller built around your, uh, your phone. Almost like a little Nintendo Switch also, so I like that. Um, so we're going to, uh, as you sign up, put your display name and things like that. And then right here you can see it actually shows you can record gameplay 
using the button down here and actually record gameplay so that's kind of kind of neat too um different features honestly it's like everything that you have with a console game um combined uh that you would want sharing abilities uh a home button so here we go i pushed the home button and if you are um a first time brand new uh person with game pass ultimate you do get a month of game pass ultimate so if you don't have it yet you uh get a chance to actually play it so here's the home screen of the app itself you can see coming down you can see lots of different stuff different games that it recommends different things that you can play um i actually like that i'm gonna log in with my game pass here all right guys so i have my backbone set up with cloud gaming beta um i've been wanting to talk about xbox cloud gaming you could set it up through your safari just log in with your xbox credentials your game pass credentials and you'll see it's actually pretty legit they got a lot of games accessible from it you don't have to download anything to play them for example you know what let's go ahead and uh check out killer instinct which is a game that i've been playing a lot <laughs> I've been playing Killer Instinct a lot on here. And uh, it even has touchscreen controls for some of these games. But I didn't want to do that. I don't want to use touchscreen controls. I want to use this bad boy. This sucker. This is what I bought the backbone for. So I'm going to kind of gorilla um, record a little bit. Just for you guys to kind of, kind of see what it's like. But you can see... The game is nice and loaded, and it loaded pretty quick. No no downloads. You don't have to download Cloud Gaming at all. There's no app. You don't have to download Killer Instinct, none of the games. You just, boom, right there. And I, and I wish I could really do it justice to how great the game sounds. <laughs> but, uh, all right, we're going to go ahead Lock the game in. Um, I severely think Killer Instinct on Xbox One is underrated. I know not too many people play it or check it out. I think it's worth checking out, guys. Trust me. Especially on, on uh, xCloud. So I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to kind of see exactly what I'm doing here a little bit. That should be good, right? Let's just go ahead. Whoop, oh, hold on. I always get A and B confused on Xbox and Nintendo. So we're just going to do generic Jago and Fulgore. Let's start random. And you can see it's running pretty good. Now, good thing about the backbone going directly into the, uh, to the iPhone right here, the lightning cable, is that you're not going to see as much um, lag as you would have on like a... Uh, a different type of device so you're gonna see it also has a d-pad that's not half bad Oops. There we go. there we go now the way I'm recording I'm not gonna be able to really play as good because I'm holding it at an awkward angle I just wanted to kind of show you guys That it's not that bad. It's almost like having a, a a Steam Deck or a Switch. Matter of fact, I believe you could use this to you could also use this to play Luna, Stadia, um, and uh, Nvidia GX. So just so you guys can see it, get the gist. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of uh, playing this on the go so I can get my achievements and my, my gamer score up on Xbox. Now I'm a lot better at this game than, than what this video's justice is letting me know. Up, up, up. He just totally pwned me. But uh, just to get out of xCloud, I'm going to... 
I'm not trying to do so much of an xCloud demo, but you can get out of any game at any time like that. Um, let's go ahead and go to Banjo. I know I got a lot of retro fanatics on here. Um, so you guys can see Banjo Kazooie. Um, classic game. Banjo on the go. Who wouldn't want that? Banjo on the go. So it's loading up. Sometimes it takes a moment. But look at that. Banjo on the go. So it detected my 360 settings, my 360 info, and all that. And uh, so you get Game Pass Ultimate and you get um, xCloud. It's still in beta. They're actually going to be putting xCloud off of your console also to where you can play from the cloud off your console. So you don't even have to download shit anymore. I, I, to me, that, that screams badass. All right, so here we go. We got Xbox Live Arcade. So if you're looking for a Steam Deck alternative or an accessory that you can actually play with your, uh, your Xbox, you know, your Xbox games on the go. Because I know a lot of people, that's why they want to, uh, to have the Steam Deck. Uh, Steam Deck's a little out of my price range. This was a hundred bucks still, but uh, I believe the hundred bucks is well worth that. So just gonna kind of show you guys a little bit of the game. I'm not very far, but look, it's pretty responsive. So Banjo on the go. In case you guys are wondering works pretty perfect there's a share button everything that you could want the basic handheld gaming setup so if i have to recommend getting the backbone i think it is well worth the price of admission it's a little bit pricey but it feels like an authentic like iphone or xbox accessory you just plug it in and play it you could download the backbone app the backbone app opens up a world of treasure that I didn't even give enough justice to. Check out all the reviews, guys. Well worth the price. So if you're looking into doing the remote play gaming, you can even do PlayStation Remote Play on here. Or if you're looking into uh, PlayStation Now um, or xCloud or even Xbox Remote Play, I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on the backbone. Anyways, thank you for watching.